today we are headed out on our first decor hunting uh, whatever um, <laughs> I might have to redo that <laughs> so I think today we are gonna go to Joanne's definitely and at home definitely um, we might also go to I heard Big Lock might have some stuff so we might go to Big Lots, um, and anywhere else I see, really. If there's a home goods, I'm stopping. Might as well see what's in there, you know? Um, so right now I am headed to Starbucks, and I'm getting a London Fog Iced Latte. Um, getting one for my friend as well. We're going to have a buddy with us, oh, and we also have this buddy with us. This is Jackie. Jackie O'Lantern. She is always in my car, uh, no matter what season. Yeah, people think I'm weird, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, this is my car buddy. Uh, Temperance is my house buddy, my office buddy, my work buddy. Uh, but she is my car buddy. So say hi to Jackie, everybody. Um, she's pretty awesome. So yeah, at the end of this video, I'm probably going to have a haul. Um, I've got quite a few things online already. Um, as some of you may know, there was a big Cracker Barrel to do. Um, and I saw that when it, it was happening and I got on the site and I did get something. So hopefully I will be showing you guys that at the end of the video. Um, and I got a few things on Hobbit's website. Um, and a few things from some small businesses so that's pretty cool so i'll be showing you those things as well um so yeah we'll have fun today and see you guys when we get to the stores guys i got my uh starbucks and it is a iced london fog latte with um vanilla cold cream on top and it is amazing you guys should try this so good hi i just realized that i never introduced myself my name is Haley, and this is halloween um don't mind my nails i needed to get them done but we are at at home so first couple things we've got here um this book these pages were actual paper and it seemed like they were just glued on uh, and they were coming off so not very good quality I would not recommend this piece if you're looking at buying it online um, that paper is going to come off soon um, so I would not buy that one um, these snow globes are really cool um, I really love those books so cute this snow globe didn't have any glitter or anything in it. I thought that it did, that's why I turned it over, um, but it ended up not having any. But this is $20, just for this small anatomical heart on a pedestal. I thought that was a little bit much. Um, they do look really cool. I wish they were more realistic and less gray, but I did like them. I wouldn't pay $20 for them though. This neon green pop I'm loving. That trick or treat sign reminded me a lot of Over the Garden Wall, especially the pumpkins with the round eyes. Super cute. Kind of wanted that. Here's a couple of fall items. I decided to just pan over them so that you can see. I love Halloween. I also love a little bit of fall as well. This little baby skeleton. Tiny temperance. Ah, so cute. <laughs> Again, the neon green pop. I believe this is like the Ty Pennington. Yeah, Ty Pennington collection, which I wish I could have a Halloween collection. Go Ty Pennington. Glow in the dark stuff is pretty cool. I 
kind of want this glow in the dark skeleton. We have the classic candles that they have at, at home every year. I just panned over these just because, you know, they're there every year. I do actually need some of these ornaments. I really want the ghost ones because I do have a black Christmas tree that I need to design this year. And yeah, that's one of the things I'm looking for. This candle smelled pretty good. It wasn't anything to write home about though. 15 bucks. Tiny little lantern here. I believe that was $3.99. Struggled a little bit to find the price there. Yeah, there it is. Some LED candles, which actually come in handy. I love mood lighting, so. And these were pretty cool. Some skull jars in any color you want. $2.99, not a bad price. I really love the orange. I think orange is a, like, orange and bright green are popular colors this year, and I'm loving it. Some fall floral. I love fall floral. I really love orange and yellows and all the fall colors. This is really cool because I feel like it has like a little bit of a grungy feel to it. I can move this out of the way. But I really liked these florals that had like the little fuzzy balls on them. Pretty colors that they came in. And then these taper candles. Taper candles are always super nice. And they came in pretty colors. I really liked both oranges. And they were pumpkin spice scented. These taper candles are really cool. I liked the unique shape and that they came in orange because obviously I have a thing with orange this year. Loving the orange. Some yard stakes. They really didn't have very much in this aisle yet, as you can see. Classic ghosts. This adorable witch that lights up. I feel like I could make something like this, but also it would take forever. I don't want to do that. Gargoyle. Love it. $6.99. This ghost is really cool. I almost got that. It's a hefty candelabra. It was super heavy. My friend and I joked about, you know, in the library with the candlestick. Classic clue. This skull was really cool. Very rock star. Loving it. Definitely could keep that out all year. I mean, you can keep all of this out all year, but you know. Victorian looking skeletons. I really liked this piece. It's like a ghost woman coming out of a black. Super cool. I would keep that out all year as well. These vulture lanterns. Kind of like a mini version of the crow one. Uh, for 40. I think this would be a great option for somebody who loves that crow one. But doesn't want to spend that much money. And of course, all of the skeletons. I really liked this middle guy here. That's 130. He has really nice coloring, and I don't know how big he is, but he looks huge. I would say he's probably like six feet tall. I'm not sure though. Little cat. I almost got the cat. 
Um, it's not a very accurate skeleton. That's why I hesitated on it. Um, but you guys know I have cats and I love them, so I thought Temperance might need a cat buddy. A bat. dragon here. Weird looking frog because obviously not anatomically accurate. <laughs> and there's my cat. I thought this might be like a hummingbird. A bag of skulls for $4.99. Could be good for like a filler. They're kind of derpy looking. Thumbs up. I thought that was cute. I liked both of these and thought about getting them, but I didn't want peace sign or a thumbs up. I really wanted like, you know, horns. Um, they didn't have those there. Did not get those. Another skeleton. This guy's eyes light up. Ooh, awkward shot. There we go. And then this little guy, he's super cute. Very gray color. Ooh, again, I'm This is a piece that I think everyone is going to love this year. Definitely very, very cool. $70, lights up. I believe her eyes light up. This blanket I might go back for because I really liked it. It's not too fluffy, but it is nice and thick. Really nice. I also showed just some other blankets that I thought were kind of witchy. We've got some shrooms here. Very cute. Very like summer cottage witch. And these mystic soul blankets are always so pretty. And then we got some Rachel Zoe. I also really like these. They were very nice. I feel like you could still sit on the couch with them on your lap, not be too hot. Love the moths. Those were my favorite, I think. And Cynthia Rally Sheets, extra long twin. I think that would work for like a college dorm room. This one was really pretty. Can't really buy anything white because it gets stained. <laughs> this is a beautiful black pillow. It was so soft. This pillow is only $20 and it was super cool. Very nicely beaded. I also saw these bright orange. Obviously, you guys know. Loving the orange towels. Thought about getting a couple for our bathroom. Thought it would match my um, Halloween bathroom decor. Fear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Ten bucks each. It looks like they came in gold and white. Again, with the mushrooms. I just think that they're very witchy and cottage core. I don't know. I like them. That was ten. I also thought this was kind of witchy. Sun. Meditation room esque. Some black little figurine animals. And more mushrooms. And these ones are really cute because they light up. I thought they would look. One would look really nice in my office. And probably the green one.
These candles were absolutely beautiful. They smelled pretty good, but the lids were really the highlight. Look how pretty that is. And that is amazing. The bat and the moth. They were $10 each, which is pretty good. It's a pretty good price. I would keep that lid forever. You feel like hanging on your wall after you're done with the candle. Or make a toaster. All right, so we just went to at home and there's a TJ Maxx right next door. So we went in there as well. Um, we saw a little bit of Halloween in at home. It was, it was pretty good, it wasn't full, um, but we saw some stuff. So we got that footage. And then at TJ Maxx, we didn't really see any Halloween, but I did see some Halloween-esque things that uh, I got some footage of. So yeah. All right, we are at Joanne now. This skull planter is plastic. It's pretty hefty though. Nice light up witch hat. Everything was 40% off. So these prices are pretty crazy, but you do have to remember that it is 40% off. I mean, this stuff just came out and it's already 40% off. That's not, you know, that's not too bad. Um, they are still crazy prices though. You can definitely find all of these skeletons for a lot cheaper. Obviously at At Home, we just saw like $100, that's crazy. This guy is really cool. Obviously they had the one at Target last year and it was $40. And I have it. lightning some evil laughter well that's pretty cool i mean i don't necessarily need that in a skeleton but if you do then go for it led lights here i don't really usually go for led lights they're a little too modern for me i did really like this skull though that's pretty freaking cool um Everything else is a little boring for me. You know, the boo signs they have every year. All right, so this is like gardening things or yard ornaments. I think since they're coming out with Halloween in June, this is a great idea. Put out some summerween things. You have this little witchy collection here light up moon i do know that there's something similar to this that you can get on amazon i think it might actually be a little bit nicer too so i would check amazon for that before you purchase the moonlight i wasn't really sure about this one couldn't test it so i'm not sure cool snake i thought this skull was really really cool the patterns on it are awesome. Yeah, just really nice. Year-round decor, obviously, for us spooky people. Tarot cards. It lights up. Looks really pretty when you light it up. $29.99 with that 40% off. So usually I do, you know, 30. Half of 30 is 15. So it'd be a little more than 15. I'd say it'd be 16 or 17 dollars. Which isn't a bad price, I don't think. It's candlestick holders. That's 25. And then there's a shorter one that is 20. Again with the 40% off.
these little moon candle holder it says you could also put plants in there i think that would look really cool this rug is really nice i would for sure use that all year round if i had a spot for it cauldron planter i don't really like the skull on the front of it it's kind of weird looking These witch legs, I think you put them upside down in a planter, but I'm not exactly sure. This candy bowl holder. It's good if you go out trick or treating, but still want to put candy out for kids. I loved all of their towels this year. So pretty. did like the big witch energy towel, but I'm not a gray fan. I don't really love gray. The moon made me do it. Very pretty. They for sure have things like this on Amazon as well. So like I said guys, check Amazon for things before you buy them. At Joanne. These mugs were really cute. They were only 10 bucks with the 40% off, so they would end up being, I'd say, probably like 6 bucks. That's a decent price for a mug. And they're pretty, pretty sturdy mugs. Some melamine stuff. I think that's how you say it, melamine. That's just like plastic. It doesn't break. bunch of tablecloths. These are the ones that are kind of like plasticky, but they are reusable, which are really nice, especially for parties. You can definitely wipe it down after. I was really feeling this witch cat bat pattern. And obviously, paper plates and napkins for your Halloween shindigs. Haunted House was really cool. Again, the orange. Love the orange. And the ghosts. Obviously, love the ghosts. Happy spooky season. Checker is a very trendy pattern right now, I think. So that's pretty cool. Love this yellow. That was so bright and happy. Again with the checker. The little bats. Adorable ghost. Loving them. Classic skeleton apron. The pumpkin and bat with a white background tablecloth was super nice. It was huge um, for someone who has just a nice big dining room table. I don't have that. I might have gotten it if I did. Got some cauldrons here. 20 bucks with that 40% off again. So I'd say it's probably like 11 or 12 bucks. This moon lit up. You can't really see it, but it did have like twinkly lights inside. These glass apples, those lit up as well. I tried a few and they did not show. I don't know if it was too bright in the store. This welcome 
mirror that is shaped like a coffin is pretty cool. All these cookie jars, and of course, the classic box section of Joann's. They always have really pretty designs on all of these boxes. Good for storage. The ones with the clear on the top. So you can see what's in the box. It's really cute for like Halloween treats. If you want to maybe like make a bunch of Halloween cookies or Halloween charcuterie and put it in there. Send it off to a party with someone maybe. Send it off to a Halloween party at your kid's school. Be very cute. And when I say Halloween charcuterie board, I don't mean like meat in a cardboard box. I mean like cookies. Maybe some marshmallow peeps, candy, stuff like that. Make that in that box. You can see everything, it looks pretty. And gift it to someone. Now this section was my favorite. This metal bat, really cool. Looks like it could go outside. I would definitely hang that in my garden. This looks really cool. Especially for a gallery wall. If anyone puts this on their front door, please show me a picture. That would be epic. I really loved this death moth. It was only, oops, I'm going crazy here. It was only 15 with that 40% off as well. And then there's also this moth for 10. Great for that gallery wall. Love this one as well. I love toads and frogs. This lights up. Ooh, yeah, there it is. It looked a lot brighter in the store, in person. I love things that light up. Turn off all the lights in your house and then turn on all of your decor that lights up. It's always the best. Hocus Pocus lovers. I am a Hocus Pocus lover. Didn't love that sign. It's okay. Now here is that orange again. This collection had a lot of that bright orange blocked items. That didn't sound right. But yeah, bright orange flocked pieces are my kryptonite, I think, this year. This was a really cool for sure, it could be all year round piece. It is amazing. Put some drippy candles in that thing. Say hello to my platform Tevas and my chunky white leg. <laughs> How many skeletons can you fit in one car? like the vintage sewing machine very cute especially for someone who sews
and here's that 40% off sign if you guys want to stop the video and take a look in case you can't do the math it's more exact than my little fake math that I'm doing to figure out the prices <laughs> Here are more of the flocked items. I just love the flocked items. Reminds me of those bunny rabbit piggy banks that I used to have in the 90s. But in bright orange and jack-o'-lantern shape. love a good haunted house. This is supposed to light up. It did not have a tester. This is very cute, but it is broken. Got a rave going on with that light. Not sure about the rave lighting. Cute witch hat. Loved the witch hat. I also really liked this metal spooky house scene. Great for background of, you know, your little decor display. Put some lights behind it. Super cute. These hefty witch boots. Super cute. You definitely fill those up with some dried flowers or some faux floral. And again, it was 50, but with a 40% off, probably more like 30. I don't know. Now we're going to Home Goods. This guy was so cute. I almost got him. The orange boot clay. Cute little witch in a tutu. Classic felt garlands. There wasn't much here. This guy was really cool. Definitely liked him. Again, those, those uh, felt garlands. Classic snow globes. Love these three witches with their bubbling cauldron. Then we've got these bougie skeletons. I've seen them around. This was the bronze one. They also have not at not at this store, but they have black and silver ones for these bougie skeletons. And I think those are going to be very popular this year. More snow globes. These cone trees. And this is not glitter, those are sequins. Although, for glitter, if you want something that's glitter but you don't want it all over your house, Quick tip, you can either spray it with hairspray to keep the glitter from coming off, which works pretty good, but also if you buy a can of clear shellac 
and just spray that on there. The glitter's not going anywhere. Do it before you even bring it in your house. And you're all set. I really loved this pumpkin one. Nice and soft. Classic colors. Cynthia Rowley. Cynthia Rowley always has super cute stuff for Halloween. Definitely love it. This pink with multicolored ghosts would be cute for a little girl's room or something. Lots of these skeleton hand trays. Spider bowl. I thought the price was on here, but it wasn't. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I'm Haley, and happy Halloween. Thank you.